Hi, this is James C2. Welcome to our latest tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at one of the new features of Dynamics 365, which is editable grids. One of the most requested features in Dynamics 365 is the ability to basically inline edit. To show you what I mean by that, let's look at one of the views that we have in our system, Contacts. If I wish to edit one of these contacts, what I'd have to do is open up the records. If I wanted to change Maria Campbell's record, I open it up, go in, make my changes, and then exit again. All very well. But if we have to do that on a, a regular basis, we have lots of updates to do. We could go down the multi-edit route by selecting multiples and hitting edit. But as you'll know, you're limited in the number of fields that you can edit in that way. For example, you wouldn't be able to update email address because it's unlikely all four of your multi-edits would have the same email address. So what we can do now is use inline editing. Now, it's not been set up on contacts at the moment, so we can't demonstrate it. But we have set it up on opportunities. So I'll show you what we mean. If we go into our opportunities, in this case, we're looking at a group of my open opportunities. Now, they're grouped by contact in this case. What I'd like to do is apply no grouping. So it looks like the normal view as you would normally see in Dynamics 365. But what we can now do, rather than going in and updating each record individually, is I can use inline editing. Say, for example, I realize I've got the wrong estimated revenue on this opportunity. Rather than opening up and editing, I can simply click on estimated revenue here, put in my new value, let's say it's supposed to be 26 instead of 25,000, tab off, and there we go. I can make as many edits as I like, and finally save it, which should save a huge amount of time. Now what you may be asking is how do we set that up? So let's go in and set it up. We'll set it up on our contacts. So the first thing I have to do is go into the settings area, into customizations or via solutions and then customizations. I'll go in and I'll find the entity I wish to update, which is contacts. I open up the entity and all we have to do is on this screen, the main screen, is click on controls. Now the default is to have a Dynamics 365 read-only grid, which is your normal view. What we are going to do is add a control. So we have three options here. Calendar control, editable grid, and timeline control. Calendar control and timeline control are controls that can be used on phone and tablet applications. What we want to do is use an editable grid. So I'll click that. Hit add and then I click on web to make this available on the web application, the one that we are using just now. I won't add it to phone and tablet for just now. The one slight user tip is if you have clicked phone by accident, clicking it does not deselect the value. So what I found is you have to remove your control and add it again. So just be careful when you're adding these. So I'm going to save that and then publish it. And now we can navigate to our contacts to see that in action. So let's go into our sales area, find our contacts. And now we can see we have inline editing. We can see that immediately because we have the group by option. If you don't have a group by option, then you haven't got your inline editing. Now you can see all the fields that can be used to group by here. You do have control over that. We'll look at that later on. But let's say I want to update the email address. Now notice in some cases, some fields are locked out. We'll look at that later on in the video. But if I want to update the email address, click on there can make my changes and tab off and remember to save. So let's just change this one to someone underscore Z, tab off, then save and all our changes are saved. Now to demonstrate the grouping, I have a list of contacts here and I might want to see them all displayed grouped by the company name. So let's pick that. Now I can use a filter here or much easier, just go for company name and notice all the ones that work for a Datum Corporation are grouped together. All the Alpine ski ones are grouped together, which makes it a lot easier to find and then edit your data. Now, as well as being an inline grid, which allow editing, if I simply double click on a record, like I would in a normal view, it opens a record. If I want to edit a certain part of it, I simply need to click on that one field. As well as being a very useful tool for use in views, it can also be used in subgrids. So to demonstrate that, let's look at an account where we know we've got some opportunities available. So I'm going to navigate out to Alpine Ski House. Now, as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, we have three recent opportunities for them, but none of the fields are editable. I would like to add an editable field here. 
So how do we do that? Well, we do that by editing the form. So to edit the form, we could go out to the settings area and then customizations or solutions, but I'm just going to take the easy way out and click form. Now bear in mind, this is the account form we're editing. I scroll down to my grid, find my grid, double click to open. And when I go to controls, as I did with the other main views, I want to add an editable grid and actually make this available on the web application. I confirm it's going to add the recent opportunities. So I hit OK, save, publish. Now the opportunities can be grouped by topic. They can be grouped by the estimated close date. And I also have online editing available. And that's the power of your online editing and how you switch it on. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you want any more information, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Feel free to follow us on Twitter, like the video, and if you really want to, you can subscribe on the YouTube channel. If you'd like a free trial, simply click on the link. Thanks for watching.